This is the Ulanzi VL49 RGB light and it only costs 20 US dollars. Let's open it up and see what you can do with it. Quick disclaimer, Yolanda did send me this product completely for free for a video review, but this video is not sponsored. Okay, so this is pretty much what you get inside this $20 light. You get the light itself, and as you can see, it is extremely compact, and you also get a USB-C cable. This light is completely built out of plastic, so the build quality does not feel really premium, but for $20, I would not expect anything else. At least it has a USB-C port. Now let me quickly measure the weight of this light. Just 103 grams, extremely lightweight. With the cable, it's 112 grams. Now, this light also has a cold shoe mount on each side except the bottom. So here, here, and here. This is can be very useful if you have maybe a couple of these lights and you want to combine them together to create a bigger light source. Let's see for a moment how this light looks like with my GoPro Hero 9 uh, vlogging setup in case if you want to use this thing for vlogging. And as you can see, the package is still small, even with this light. And also, this light has a diffuser on top of it to make the light a little bit softer. Now I want to show you quickly how it compares in size to another great RGB budget light from Ulanzi. This is the VGM VL196. I have made a video about this light. If you want to watch that video, I'm going to leave a link up here. And basically, this Yulanzi VL49 is pretty much less than half the size of the VGM VL196. It's extremely compact, really, really small. Now, before I'm going to power on the light, I also want to mention that this light has 2,000 milliamperes of battery capacity, which is more than enough, in my opinion, for this size of a light. Okay, let's power it on. All right. Purple. Let's see what we have here. Okay, this is how you change the color. And this is how you change the intensity. Basically, you have two options, one to change the color and one to change the intensity. Here's the intensity on the right, on the left is the color. And if you want to change this light to a regular light and not RGB, you simply hold this button here and it's going to change it to a regular light. You can also change the Kelvin value from 2500 Kelvin up to 9000 Kelvin. One thing that I like right away about this light is that it powers on extremely fast. As you can see, just takes like a second, a millisecond to power it on and off. For example, if I'm going to bring my VGM and try to power it on, it's going to take at least like two, three seconds, as you can see. All right, so right now I'm using only one light to light this shot, my main key light, and that's it. Now let's power on the Ulanzi VL49 and see what you can achieve with this light and what I can do to make this shot a little bit more interesting. So first of all, I want to show you the intensity of this light. This is 100% of intensity. And this is how it looks when the light is directly at me. And I've set the color balance to 5000 Kelvin and it does not look like 5000 Kelvin. It looks like 4000 Kelvin, maybe 3800 Kelvin. It looks a little bit too warm. My main key light is a 5000 Kelvin. And this is definitely not 5000 Kelvin, so don't expect this light to be extremely color accurate. Again, you're paying just 20 US dollars, it's extremely cheap, so it's probably not gonna be really color accurate. Okay, so now I'm gonna try to use this light as a background light, just to illuminate the background with some light. It's set to 5000 Kelvin and 100% of brightness intensity. Now let's change it to RGB and see how different colors look like. 
So this is how purple looks like. This is how blue background looks like with this RGB light. This is how green looks like and I think it looks pretty bright as far as I can see on my flippy screen on my camera. And finally let's change it to orange which is also pretty popular. Orange or red. Something like that. What you can also do with this light is use it as a rim light. So let's try that. I'm going to put it to 5000 Kelvin and around, I would say, maybe like 50, 60% of brightness. And I'm going to put it in the corner there, just a little bit out of frame. So now I have a little bit of rim light on this side of my face to separate me even more from the background, but I think it's not uh, powerful enough, it's not bright enough at the moment, so I'm going to adjust the brightness a little bit higher now. And now the light is set to 90% of brightness, and as you can see I have a nice rim light here on the side to separate me even more from the background. Now let me turn on the RGB light and see how that looks like as a rim light. So this is now the RGB light and it's set to pink or purple, something like that. I can barely see. Oh, okay, now I can see. I can definitely see a light on this side of my face. Also, I can see that this light has a little bit of spill on this side of the wall, but I can easily make a DIY grid for this small light to uh, prevent the light from spilling all over the place. Now the light is set to blue and as you can see it kind of looks nice because at the same time it illuminates the background and also creates a little bit of a rim light on this side of my face. Alright so now I want to show you how you can use this small Ulanzi VL49 light for your product mural shot for example. At the moment I'm only using one key light to light the GoPro but now I'm gonna try to play around with the Yulanzi small light and see what I can do in order to make this shot a little bit more interesting. So the first thing that I can do obviously is to give a little bit of rim light on this side of the GoPro of the product. So I'm gonna turn on the light, bring it as close as possible as I can and I'll try to avoid the spill on this side of the wall as much as possible. I'm gonna put it to 5000 Kelvin and play around with the intensity a little bit. All right, so right now the light is set to 25% of intensity and as you can see it creates a little bit of a rim light on the product, on the GoPro. Let me show you how it looks when it's off and now when it's on and when it's off and when it's on. It just helps to separate the subject, the product, a little bit more from the background. Let me try the same thing with RGB. So this is now blue color and this is how it looks when it's off and when it's on. When it's off and when it's on. Another thing that you can do is put the light just above the product, just like so to separate it a little bit more from the background. We can also do these kind of shots, and which you see a lot with product shots, something like that. Just playing around with the lights and the colors. Another thing that you can do is illuminate the background with some color. And, and now you have basically a colorful background. Looks very nice. Okay, right now I'm filming with my GoPro Hero 9 Black and I want to show you how you can use this small Ulanzi light to help you with low light vlogging or something like that. So right now I'm using my main key light to light myself and I'm still, I think, underexposed. My ISO minimum is set to 200 and ISO maximum is also set to 200. And if I go here, you can barely see me. So let's power on the light. And boom. 
Now you can see me much better. Let me adjust the brightness a little bit higher. So this is around 70% of brightness. And again, this is ISO 200. I'm filming on the GoPro, on the small GoPro sensor. So this light can definitely be used for vlogging with the GoPro. It does feel a little bit heavy, adds to the weight of my GoPro Hero 9 Black with the metal cage and with the light and with the microphone. But I think it's totally doable for short periods of time. If you really need the light for low light vlogging or something like that, it's going to work wonderfully. Let me turn off the light again just to show you the difference. Where is the switch? Now it's off. Now it's on. Now it's off. Now it's on. All right, so I think this is pretty much it. Again, I'm going to leave a link for this light down below in the description. And if you have any questions or comments, also leave them down below. And I guess I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and peace out.